Hey guys, and welcome to a Let's Try. We are going to be trying a new survival horror game, uh, apparently made by one person. This is the demo, and I first found out about this from my friends in the Discord. And wow, that's loud. <laughs> Holy shit. So, this game is called Echoes of the Living, and it looks like a very Resident Evil uh, inspired game, should we say. Uh, I've noticed, you know, multiple kind of things that uh, make me think of earlier Resident Evil games. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, I have tried previously lots of these uh, indie Resident Evil-esque survival horror titles and most of them have been garbo, to put it lightly. Uh, I suppose the, the highest profile Resident Evil slash Silent Hill thing that we played not that long ago was um, Tormented, no it wasn't Tormented Souls, I can't remember what that one was called that we played ages ago. Um, I will remind myself to put an edit in to remember the, that game. No it was Tormented Souls wasn't it? A game stuck in the asylum and it was Garbage, but everybody said it was like uh, this amazing. All, all the reviews like this amazing, blah 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 blah. It was shit. Anyway, um, this actually does have some serious promise. Uh, I've played about five, ten minutes of it. Probably not even that. Um, there's a lot I've got to say about this one, actually, but I've come away wanting to play more. In fact, enjoyed it so much. I decided to do this let's try um, like I said I've only played you know 10 minutes of it uh, because we had a watch party in our discord last night so I cut my place for short anyway let's go new game now visually this game is very very good for what it is uh, so we have Liam Oakwood very generic looking characters here um, and we have Laurel Reeves so you can see he just gives me Claire vibes considering he's got the motorcycle as well um, and she's giving me uh, I I don't know what vibes she's giving me to be honest but she's the police officer I guess this time around so a little bit of role reversal um, these characters look extremely generic but you know that's fine um, as long as the game is good it doesn't matter right so let's pick Liam because my friends who played through this in their own video did Laurel Reeves um, so let's go with Liam I will leak their video in the uh, box down below so straight away I do notice that if we pick Liam we actually start off in another area which is cool um, I've got to try and get used to the controls. The controls are very weird. They're very tanky controls, as you'd expect. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, oh God. I, how is... Okay, okay. So, yeah, like I say, the controls, uh, they are tank controls, but, like, the worst example of tank controls. Don't recommend using an analog stick. So it's very Resident Evil 2-esque, straight off the bat. Uh, graphically, I think this game is actually superb. Uh, I really do. The environments are really detailed and uh, very high quality. Right, so, uh, could use a little bit uh, of work with the animations. <gasps> Spoopy. And there is a annoying... Um, film noise or film grain kind of filter over the screen now if you know me or you watch my videos you know I absolutely detest film grain this isn't a film it's a game okay film grain is uh, you know a, a limitation of a camera right it shouldn't you know it's not a desired effect I hate it but sadly we can't uh, turn it off but this is cool man this gives me some huge Resident Evil vibes Resident Evil uh, 2 slash 3 very much inspired this game. So we find ourselves inside a bar. 
this bar has definitely seen better days. Now this bar actually reminds me of uh, Resident Evil Outbreak actually. Various types of alcohol bottles. I'm not in the mood to drink right now. Yeah, I, yeah, they look pretty dusty to be fair. What do you mean? This seems like the perfect time to uh, drink. Oh, dude, look, there's coffee there. Got a coffee machine. Oof. It's stuck. I can use something to force it. Alright, right you are, sir. Okay. What do we got here? A beautiful piano. Okay, well, I guess we can't do anything with the beautiful piano. Nothing of interest. We do have an inventory system. Um, really don't like Liam's um, profile pic there. Uh, I, just, I don't know how you would improve that, really. It just it looks like a cheesy Facebook, um, you know, or Instagram uh, snap. So we've got our inventory here, which seems fine. Yeah, this is really giving me Resident Evil Outbreak vibes. Oh, hello. Ooh. That's cool. This person has... Oh, this is what my friends were saying. Yeah. They need to reverse that as well. You've got no where yes should... They've reversed the no and yes. Really annoying. Seven shotgun shells. Okay, cool, cool. We like shotguns. What else have we got here? Cold beer here. Excellent. Drink good beer with good friends. Well, that's always the dream. Oh, hey, sir. This guy's had a bit of a mischief here, but he has something for us. He's dead. Wait. He's holding something. Do you want to take the handgun? Yes. Yes, please. Absolutely want to take the handgun. And, yep, yeah, we will take the 15 handgun bullets as well, because, you know, why not? It's locked. I will say, this bar actually looks very authentic. I don't know where um, the person who created this game is from, but it's a very authentic looking bar. I like it. I really do. Looks like a um, an old school pub. Alright, well, I guess there ain't much we can do. Can we actually equip the gun somehow? Uh, I guess that's equipping the gun. Yeah, he needs to work on the animations. Or she, whoever, whoever created this game. That is a, that's a good aiming stance. All right, there's a bit of animation going on there. Yep, okay, I like it, I like it. All right, let's go see what we can see. <gasps> this is giving me suspenser, um, suspenser? Suspenser, try and say one word at a time. Uh, Spencer Mansion vibes. Going up from the first save room. Ooh, yes. More handgun bullets. They're throwing handgun bullets at us, and that's fine. So we've got cigars, ports. All right. The environments are... Oh, hello. The environments are absolutely fantastic. Look at this. So what have we got here? Will you take the combat knife? Well, I mean, I guess so. Is the combat knife going to be any good? Would be my... Uh, question. How do we use the combat knife? Alright, yeah. Uh, Alright, I, I see what you're doing. But, yeah, that needs work. Okay. I have no idea who this guy is. Yeah, that there need a, a quite a bit more weight behind that um, action, if you ask me. An antique globe of the earth. So I don't know what the story is for this game, or anything to that effect. I'm guessing we're going to find that as we go through the game. Uh, you know. And I'm hoping we're going to get some kind of like background lore on these characters as well. Because uh, that would help the generic feeling character vibe that we're getting from here. Oh, I'll tell you what this is remind me of. Look at all this here. This is reminding me... Well, apart from now they've ruined that uh, vibe with the couch, but this camera angle kind of reminds me of Resident Evil Zero. The train. Ooh, Josh, if you're reading this, get the hell out of here. Did she really write the uh, exclamation marks? Okay. The freaking manager got crazy and started to bite customers. Bob and I pushed the bastard into the bathroom and locked the door until the police arrives. 
Gonna go to the hospital for a quick check. This bite wound is looking worse every time I take a look at it. Take care, Sarah. All right, Sarah. So, all right, so we're gonna get logs and things. I like it, that's fine. Lots of trash are stored, storage in here. Okay, definitely not an English person. Either that or he has the same grasp of the English language as I do. Right, more bullets. We got the restroom key. Okay. What have we got here? Probably belongs to the workers. Yeah. Probably belongs to the workers. Either that or that belongs to Mr. X. I mean, look, there's a dapper bowler hat and everything there. Alright. So, we've got ourselves a key for the bathroom. We just need to find the bathroom. It's locked from the other side. Well, that's probably not the bathroom then. Oh, there's a telly. Let's hope Scissor Man from Clock Tower is not here. There's no signal. Fair enough. It's locked. Oh, is this the bathroom? Is that the bathroom? I guess that's probably not the bathroom. Alright. So somebody got heavily murdered here. This couch is all covered in blood. Yep, looks that way. Oh! Who let the locals in? You know... Ooh, shit. <laughs> just everybody comes at once. Every... <laughs> every arm just springs through the door like a jack-in-the-box. Okay... You know... The zombie models... They don't look bad. They don't look bad at all. Right, so I'm guessing downstairs has now been totally and utterly invaded by legions of the undead. Well, that's fine. We have a handgun. Oh? Maybe... Maybe not quite so many legions of the undead. Oh, hello! There's a legion of the undead. How do we fire? Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, the ragdoll physics. I like that, actually. Okay, so to reload your gun, you've got to put... Now, this, I, right, full disclaimer, this is as far in the game as I've got. Um, it took me ages to work out how to reload your gun, because you cannot reload your gun in the inventory screen, right? Um, you cannot reload your gun, even when it's empty, by aiming it, like you could in Resident Evil. You have to go into the relax pose, and push X. Uh, well, X on the Xbox controller, anyway. So, yeah, that took a bit of getting used to. I, I'm not a big fan of the gun sound effect. I mean, the animation's fine. Come on, zombie. Dance. Shut up and dance, boy. He's down. Um, yeah, not... Okay, so... What's interesting as well is you can hear the brass bouncing around. Oh, right, we don't need to select keys. And I guess keys are automatically discarded. Nice. Oh, hello. This is our manager friend. That's as close as it gets, folks. Just dropping a, a, a magazine on his ass straight away. And whoever this girl is. Is this the girl that... Is that? Her neck has been ripped. Alright, so I guess this is the girl f that writ the letter that we just read. Yeah, I mean, I'd, visually, visually, this game is not bad at all. Would you take the analistic? Uh, yes. Analistic. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't like the way the body just disappears. We don't need that. So, a small box of analytics restores a small amount of health. Okay. I hope that's not a suppository. But, you know, better than the alternative, I suppose. See, the magazine is still on the floor, which I appreciate. Ooh, James was here. And then there's, <laughs> there's a picture of uh, Pyramid Head there. Uh, no way I'm touching that. Only a maniac would be so stupid. Ooh. So I'm guessing this game is going to be full of um, references as well, which I am absolutely down for. So why does her body not disappear? That kind of looks like she's been smacked over the head 
by a stool or something. All right, well, whatever. So we've got the manager's key, which I'm guessing was probably going to be for the door upstairs. So let's go back upstairs. Dude, look at this. This is really quite impressive, actually. I hope. Oh, there's no auto aim as well, which actually my friends did pick up on the Discord, which <sighs> I, I wasn't sure how much that was going to bother me, to be honest. But I will say you can definitely notice the fact that it's not there. Um, I do think it's nice to have an auto aim, absolutely, especially for people, um, you know, with visual impair impairments and things like that. Absolutely, should be an option. Right, so what have we got in here? This place looks awesome. Oh. These 3D, uh, oh, hang on bullets. 30 hang on bullets. I was going to say, that was a pack, not just a magazine. Oh, hello. A shotgun. It's just a replica. Well, way to build me up and dash me down there. A collection of old books, nothing of interest. Alright, not a reader, are we, Liam? Ooh, chess. Ah, the Peacock Pub. A sneak peek to the past. Once a private club for aristocrats and rich society was built in 1894 by William J. Morton as an art gallery in honour of his wife, Eva Lovegood. Lovegood, eh? Eva Lovegood. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. One of the... <laughs> Eva Lovegood, love it. Uh, one of the most talented painters in the region. During World War II, she, uh, the Peacock was used as a operations base. Since its cellars underneath and... Uh, and since its cellars underneath and access to the sewers granted a safe getaway. Okay. In case of invasion or airstrike. Right, so I'm guessing we're not in America then. Because I don't think America was really ever under the threat of invasion. I don't think they were requisitioning pubs and things and art galleries to fortify. I don't think it got that <laughs> far for America. Correct me if I'm wrong. Since its reopening back in 1985, the new owner, John L. Pendleton, has planned has planned to bring back its glory, old glory days by restoring the gallery and expanding the collection with magnificent and unique pieces from all over the world. Okay. Uh, article written by Oct Octavia Blade. <gasps> Blade. Oh, hello. Oh, someone's trying to get in there. I guess we should oblige. Alright, dude. Come on. There you go. Yeah, okay. I eat. Yeah, I am missing the lack of an auto aim there. Where are ya? I don't want to waste any of these precious 9 millis. I guess they're 9 millimeters. Yeah, it's so disappointing. Um, <laughs> I, I do love the ragdoll effect. It's disappointing that, although you can hear the brass tumbling around, you can't see it. I mean, Resident Evil did that back on the PS1. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is reminiscent of the Spencer Mansion. Oh, big time. The metal rod. I guess we're going to use that downstairs. I only hear the wind and creatures of the night. Creatures of the night, eh? Well, it could be anything from prostitutes to rats, I suppose. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, hello. Might take a bite here. Oh, no. We got lucky. We got lucky. Ooh, got red herb. Take the garnet sapling, I guess. All right. There's a lot of art here. I mean, it's not really giving me art gallery vibes, to be fair. Um, in the same way that the police precinct could have, you know. But I like it. I like the aesthetic. Boxes and debris block the stairs. Ah, uh, this is something they said in their video, actually, my friends. Um, it's always interesting when you play these sort of games. And, ah, oh, see the body disappearing. No, you've got to sort that out, dude. Um, I'll get it. It's a demo. So, 
yeah, whenever you come up to like a dead end area or something, and they specifically mentioned, uh, you know, you'll, you'll examine the area and it say this area is completely inaccessible or completely blocked, and there's like a couple of cardboard boxes in the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, I completely agree. Yeah, it, it's just silly, really. You oh, you've unlocked it, so this is the other side. Have we completely explored this area now? Like, can we not take that replica shotgun? You know, like we could in Resident Evil 2. Uh, Resident Evil 1, I mean. The old Spencer Mansion. Ooh, I like it. I like it. So, oh, we do have a map. Okay. And the map does highlight uh, where you are in the room. Now, the only thing I would like to see added to that because that map actually looks quite good. What I'd like to see is a arrow indicating where your character is in the room because I find that helps with navigation quite a lot as well. All right, so there was this here. It's stuck. I can use something to force it. Well, happy coincidence, mate. You've used the metal rod. Looks like a crowbar to me, but all right. Ooh, hour in the cellar. I like it. This looks cool. There's a safe. Kegs to store... Kegs to storage beer. Okay. Nothing unusual. Doesn't seem to be a lot of kegs for this bar. An industrial freezer. Probably used to store drinks and food. Well, I don't think you store a lot of drinks in the freezer, but food, certainly. Locker key. Alright. This is cool. Private property. No trespassing. Right, that's locked. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, visually, the backgrounds. Uh, I definitely say they're up to snuff with anything um, Capcom pushed out with the original uh, fixed camera perspective games. Absolutely as good as anything they made. Oh, hello. Evening. Careful sailor. We don't really need to kill you, do we? Uh, I don't know how precious ammo is going to be in this game, you see. Alright, let's try going back. Oh! Oh, God! Okay. See, that's where we... Yeah, the grappling animation's a bit... Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Alright, we'll bite. We'll kill him. Yeah, the handgun just sounds really muffled. And anticlimactic, I guess. But the zombies do look good. They look really cool. Um, so, where was the locker room? It was in here. No, it wasn't. The locker room. Nope. Yeah, this is where I'd like to know exactly where I am on the map. I'm sure the locker room is around here. Was it? It wasn't through here. That's for sure. Now, if I was a locker room, where would I... There we go. Oh, there's more tablets there as well, apparently. Well, we'll take those. What is our health? Ah, our health is a little bit on the low side. Uh, right, so these don't stack. That's interesting. Okay. Now that gives us the maintenance key, which I guess is then going to take us downstairs. Back into the cellar. Gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. Let's escape. Oh, maybe not. Maintenance key. Oh, okay. That key you actually have to use. That's strange. Ooh. Oh, hello. That was quite a nice piece of animation, actually. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay.
So I wonder what was making all that. Are we going to get some kind of like nemesis-esque stalker boss? Uh, actually, this. I hope it hasn't crashed. Either way, I can drink coffee whilst I'm waiting. Ah, nectar of the gods. Right, so where the hell are we? Okay. Right. Ooh. Those. F Ooh. These footsteps. They sound chunky. His face expresses a horrible pain. Ah, oh, the spider coming out of his mouth. Look, look, this guy, whoever made this game, actually gives a shit about it. You can see that. The entire body is covered in cobwebs. Now, that is a, a kind of a throwback, if you will, to the Spencer Mansion. Uh, the beekeeper that's, like, horribly murdered under the bee's hornet's nest. Um, bee's hornet's nest? Yeah, that'll do. Ooh. It's too dense. Across it must be a. Can we knife it? I wonder. Can we? Unless we've got to like burn it somehow. Alright, whatever. Not like with the black tiger boss from the uh, Resident Evil 1. I was going to say the remake, but it's actually in the OG as well. Oh, look at this. Okay. Yeah, uh, definitely need some work on the old animations there. Oh, God. This guy's taking a few shots. Alright. Look at this. This is so highly detailed. I'm a fan. So we've got a ladder there. Oh, and we've got some stuff. It's chained. There's some goodies in there and it looks like a weapon case of some description. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll take you out. Now, I like these context kind of sensitive character models. Location specific character models. I mean, these are like underground maintenance workers. The, you know, underground in the sewer. I can appreciate a detail like that. Everything is soaking wet. There's a red... Can we shoot that red barrel? Yes, probably not. I can see light coming from the other side, but there's no way to cross it. Okay, well, I guess we're going up that ladder. How many bullets have we got left? 20. That's not fantastic, but whatever. Hey right there, friend. Ooh. Inhalation mask. Experimental medicine. After intense research, I have found a way to fight back the infection as long as the host has not been exposed for too long to the fog. To the fog, okay. Or has fully turned into a walking corpse. This unknown disease is spread by air, infecting the host's lungs, then spreading to the rest of the body in a matter of hours. But if an antibiotic is administered directly into the lungs, there is a chance to neutralize the infection before it has a chance to, sp to spread. <laughs> uh, the most effective, uh, the most efficient antibiotics are med medicinal saplings that can be minced and mixed for a single dose using any kind of inhaler. Peridot uh, saplings, mixing two of them, boost the antibiotic effect, so I guess green herbs. Garnet saplings, red herbs, it won't produce any effect by itself, however, mixed with the peridot sapling, saplings will boost the antibiotic effect. And the azurite saplings, a powerful antidote. Sadly, it won't act as an antibiotic, but it will work fine, mixed with a combination of garnet and peridot saplings. Okay, so they've literally just taken the red, green, um, and blue herb thing from Resident Evil. And you know what? That's fine. Oh, this is Resident Evil 3 vibes. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, look, this is the exact same scene. Uh, <laughs> like over here is where our friend... 
what was he called? I can't remember his name now. Um, lots and lots of boxes. The guy that had his wife and daughter murdered outside. Uh, or his daughter, I think. I'm not sure. And Jill tries. Okay, it's not exactly the same because we've got a door here. And there was like gunpowder and stuff on this box, if I remember correctly. And he goes and runs and hides in a um, in the back of a shipping container. And you can come back later and he's been horribly murdered. And this is the first save room, like in Resident Evil 3. Yeah, this scene has literally just been stolen straight from that game. And you know what? I don't even mind. I like it. That's kind of a cool nod. So we have a res Okay. Gunpowder. Ah, oh, our inventory's full. Ah. Oh, that's not great. Um. So, how? Where do we store items? A computer to store data. Okay, right. Okay. So we can save with a floppy disk. Gunpowder info. You can create different types of ammo by combining specific gunpowders. 9mm bullets. Shotgun. Okay. Magnum. Okay. That's cool. So that's from good old Resident Evil 3. Ooh. I guess. Ah, shit. See, we can't. Is this an item box? Right, it is. Okay, so for now, let's drop the shotgun. How do we... Right, I'll be to swap... Right. Uh, swap storage, swap to main inventory. Okay. Right, gotcha. That definitely wasn't as user friendly as I thought, but okay, that's fine. Uh, leave item. I don't mind that storage actually, the way it lists everything like that. That's kind of cool. All right, so you only hold six item. Time heals nothing. That's actually um, a grunge metal album. I don't know if that's intentional. But that's kind of cool, right? By the it was done by the, the crowbars or something. Time heals nothing. I like the music. So we can't just combine that with nothing, got ya? Right. Uh, should we? Yeah, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, should we keep going? So we've got a floppy disk, but we don't... No, we've got a f computer that we can use a floppy disk on, but we don't have a computer. Alright, so let's keep going. Lock from the other side. Got you. The mean streets of Raccoon City await. Locked with a simple lock. Alright. I guess that's the lock pick that we don't have. Got some pizza. Oh, there's the floppy disk. Ah, we'll go save it in a minute. Iron and Apex Co. One of the biggest companies in the city has been under the radar for quite a long time since its adjudication of public terrain was approved by the mayor last year. Many questions still in the air. While the citizens raised the protest against the illegal appropriation of the terrain that was planned to be the placement of the new infant hospital. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> so Iron and Apex Co. have angered the locals by buying <laughs> a, play, a plot of land that was supposed to be for a new infant hospital. <laughs> it's supposed they're going to build their, um, their next, uh, you know, headquarters <laughs> over the old orphanage and then they're going to dig up the uh, the local graveyard <laughs> to put their restroom in. I don't know, that's quite funny. It's not the first <laughs> it's not the first time the mayor has been uh, involucrated involucrated. 
I've never heard or seen that word before, in these kinds of dirty businesses with big companies. However, elections always seemed favourable to him. The plans of Iron Apex and Co. are yet unknown to the public, but many evidences suggest that the construction of a new factory uh, is already on the works. Many bulldozers and industrial trucks carrying what seems to be containers and engineering equipment have been spotted by multiple witnesses. Only time will reveal what plans Iron Apex and Co. has for our city. Yeah, the thing is, right, okay, so the thing is, obviously that's Umbrella, and Umbrella was the bio um, chemical pharmaceutical company, uh, you know, which automatically makes you think of bioengineering viruses and stuff. Iron Apex and Co, yeah, that yeah, it doesn't really give you the same sort of vibes. But you know, I guess they could do just another pharmaceutical pharmaceutical company, I suppose. Right, let's go back and save the game. I don't know how long this demo is. It's very generous so far. And I would like to see all of it. Um, ah, a computer store to, yeah, to storage data. We are going to storage data, don't worry. We've got one save slot available to us in the demo. Oh, look at that smooth little animation of the floppy going in. Alright. Cool. Please let us turn that grainy, um effect off the screen. I really don't like it. It's horrendous. Uh, God, I was watching a... I oh, say watching. I was listening to a video about game development the other day. Um, and they were talking about Too Human and how the developer on that was so excited because we're finally at a, a stage... Ba this is back on the 360, mind. Where we can finally create um, cinematic effects and we can really rival Hollywood and all the rest of it for blockbuster cinematic pieces and stuff like that. And it's just like, dude, dude, you're making a game. You're not making a film, all right? Forget your cinematic bullshit and your, your big block... Um, buster budgets and you know Hollywood actors and all that kind of stuff. All right, leave that shit. Ooh, elsewhere. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, that was sick. That was a very poppy, meaty explosion. I like it. Yeah, I swear half of these people in game development would rather be making films. Stop them. We shall stop them. I don't know why he has suddenly turned into lava, but he's gone. There's a hole with a square-like shape. Alright. Yeah, we'll take some handgun bullets. Now, is there any way of going under here? Uh, no, not yet. Warning, something about handguns, no entry, quarantine. So, I don't know how long this infection has been going on. So, in Resident Evil uh, 2, or and 3, it kind of happened pretty... Oh, hello. Pretty quick. There's an impressive amount of um, zombie models here as well. I haven't really seen two zombies look the same so far. I mean, it's going to happen eventually. Surely. But so far, so good. You know, you, oh, hello. You get certain games where, you know, they've got two or three zombie mo models and they stuff about 7,000 zombies on the screen and it just looks a little bit silly. So we've got ourselves a lot pick. An old bicycle has been left here. Look how detailed these scenes are. I mean, I'm excited to actually play the full game just to see more of the um, the art. Because this just looks really freaking cool. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> um, more enemies have spawned, I guess. Right, let's... Are we even hitting these guys? Not sure. Wow. 
they're actually quite tough. Yeah, this is what I mean. You have to do that manual reload. Oof. Okay. Ah, that's the door that we need. Locked with a simple lock. Can we... No, we actually have to go and manually use that, I guess. Oh, hello. Um... How does that work? Okay, so what do the buttons do? So we can move the pick up and down. X does nothing. A does nothing. B cancels the minigame. Y does nothing. Shoulder buttons don't do anything. Clicking the stick doesn't do anything. Are we missing a piece of the lockpick? Uh, do we need another tool to go with it? How does the lockpick work? Unless this is the unfinished part of the game. Yeah, because... No buttons do anything. Can we use mouse and keyboard? Because we've got the probe, but isn't there another part for a lockpick as well? Hang on. Uh, a lockpick used to pick simple locks. Right. Okay, but it doesn't actually say. You would have thought that there would be something somewhere. Right, run, aim, flat, action and use is E, or the A button. Um, fire, inventory, reload, show map. Yeah, there isn't any key bindings. Alright, one second. Let me... Okay, and apparently the game still continues in the background whilst you're in the menu. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, that's bad. Oof. Okay, somehow we were still controlling the game in the background. Right, give me a second, guys. I'm going to see if I can find out what this how to use this little bit okay so I've looked up a guide uh, and I right so those pins are now stuck right okay that really could have used a bit of exploration or explanation but okay Western steel uh, also this game is, this demo I should say, is way longer than I thought it would be. Um, we're 40 odd minutes into this and we've barely seen any of it. So, I mean that's cool, I guess. It's locked. Icon, icon the lift. I think the music, the sound design is pretty good. Quarantine, the fuse is missing, so we need to find ourselves another fuse. Oh, I'll have that. Okay, I thought we was going to push the crates then or something, but that's fine. I'll have some more bullets. Can we do anything with this? The fence looks solid enough. But I should stay away just in case. Alright. So we need a fuse. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I guess it wasn't that solid, was it? Look at all these character models. Alright, I think we've seen that zombie before. But it's pretty good. But I don't know 
if those shots were actually hitting him. Definitely would like a bit more feedback on whether we're actually hitting enemies. Everyone's dead. Okay. Ooh. An ambulance is blocking the path. It's full of corpses. Of course it is. Ah. Uh, I guess we're not going to go through there just yet. So, what have we got? This is interesting. This apartment complex or whatever is kind of full of trash. Alright, I was not expecting this to be this long, actually. It won't budge. Something's blocking from the other side. Cool. Bam! Ooh, okay. It's chained. I'm guessing we need something to get rid of these chains. Boxes are blocking the access. Ah, unless... No. Alright, I thought we were onto something then. Oh! Hi. There's a quick turn. All right, that's cool. All right, let's back up as much as we can. Right, we're hitting him. Yep. Come on, there we go. Right, so I like the idea that you get into an area where, and you're out of ideas. Oh, hi. You don't know where to go, but then something will happen behind you that opens the place up. I like that. Come on. Let's be seeing ya. Uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. No. Trouble is, when you get grappled, there's nothing you can really do about it. Oh, he's holding on to the wall. Bless him. Ah, look at this. Okay. Nothing unusual. Teddy bear. A child must have lived here. Well, that's... Assuming a lot of you. A bunny plushie. Anybody could have lived here. You want to see the collection of plushies my missus has got? Jesus. Everything is covered in blood. Everything is covered in blood. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. This guy, whoever it was, liked eating pizza. I would like to... F Ooh. Serum. Well, if we find Jill, we've got the serum. A single dose shot of serum, it restores a really small portion of health and cures poison. Sounds useful. Ah, oh, it's full of blood. Yes, let's remove the plug. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's gnarly. That's so gnarly. We'll take the small key. Like, is she going to get up? My, what happened in here? Well, it's pretty obvious, my dude. It was a zombie thing. Books about electronics and toys. Nothing of interest. All right. Yeah, this looks like... Oh, hello. Nothing of interest. Oh, I like the bed sheets. The bed is covered in blood. Yeah, that woman seemed to have a lot of blood in her body. Fuse. There we go. Now we can go back. Cool. That was... I like this little apartment um, romp. It's cool. Alright. Well, let's keep going. My concern is dying and then having to, like, replay all of this again. And I know that's a trope of... Um, Resident Evil as well 
but we've, we're past that sort of game design. I guess the small key doesn't work there. Right, so we've got a small key. I can't really remember where we need to use the small key. Let's have a little look down here. That's, this is where we need to use the fuse. Looks like... Oh, dear. Um, oh, right. Right, I see. Okay. I don't understand. No, I don't see. Um. Okay. So. Where's the rub here then? So can you only make X amount of connections with each colour? Um. Alright. Maybe that's the thing. You can only make so many connections at once. Um. Right, so let's go for like blue. And then we need a red. Got to connect all the circuits up. There we go. All right, that wasn't wasn't too bad. Ooh. Storage room. All right. Uh, to the maintenance employees, the lock password has changed due to looters trying to get inside the store. The new one is right. I should probably write that down. Uh, I say probably. Anywhere. I'm okay, going to just fire up my old uh, tablet here. So that's seven, nine, six, three, three. Seven, nine, six, three, three. Cool. Uh, and I guess. Oh, heavy gunpowder. Oh, we're out of inventory slots. Way. So where is. That's unfortunate. All right, well, let's go and open this one down here. We're out of inventory slots already, so we only have six. That's not a lot of inventory, I'll be honest. Um, now, inventory management in games can be fun, but, you know, there are limits. Like, I'm not a huge fan of mass amounts of backtracking. Ooh. Who, who lost keys? Do not forget. Please restock the newspapers, Jack. Alright. Uh, oh, illegal hazardous waste depot uncovered. Last night, police authorities raided Iron Apex & Co. construction site after receiving evidences of hazardous waste and illegal activities. Photographs and documents proved that the construction site was, in fact, a secret underground depot to storage <laughs> to store all kinds of health hazardous disposals. Among the documentation provided, multiple money transfers made to Mayor Klaus Gaff Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Klaus Graf Mayer is the mayor. Okay, were, were found. Four hours later, Mayor Klaus was put into custody to further in, um, to further interrogation. 
to further interrogation and is expected to be sent to prison within the next 72 hours. This leak has revealed the peak of the iceberg, a huge disease of corruption that runs in the vein of our city. It is our duty to unveil the truth and fight for what is fair for our own good and the common well. Okay, well, I think our friend Octavia there, reporting the news, needs uh, needs to go back to the English class. Now, I know my English is is suckage, but you know I don't do it as, uh, professionally, so you know, right? It's locked. I guess we can't use that. So we can't use either of these. Um. I kind of really want another save disc because I sat down to play a demo <laughs> oh convenience store key but our inventory right we need to go all the way back now to sort out our inventory I guess which admittedly might not actually be that far away how where was it wasn't back through there, was it? Everyone is dead. We came. Oh, right, we came from all the way down here, didn't we? Yeah. Where does this lead? So we've got more zombies down there. Ah, right. Use the storage room. Uh, is the storage room a storage room? It's not the kind of storage room that I wanted. Wires. We can't take anything because we have no... The battery's missing. Alright. We can't take anything because we have no inventory space. Full of construction materials. Right. Um, I guess now we can go back and get that key. Oh, sounds like there's more deadites. What's that? Is that an item? Shelf is full of alcohol. Free beer. Well, that's lame. Alright, let's take the convenience store key. Nothing. Of is that the key to this door here? I guess not. All right. Right, let's go back. So the convenience store. Can any of these keys be used in here? Lock from the other side. What about this door up here? Right, it's chained. So I'm guessing, see small key, I would assume that the small key would be what we want, but no. All right, well, let's go back to our item box because I think there were some doors back there that needed to be examined, although I can't really remember <laughs> all these doors. There's, there's so many doors, man. Right, where, that took us out to here. There was no battery in here either. This is literally just a storage room. Now, luckily, there is some heavy powder there, which I believe we can use to make shotgun shells, which is fine. Any, any trouble with that? Oh, she's a tough cookie. I and mean, she kind of looked like Lara Croft, so go figure. I don't know where she came from, mind. Alright, this is fine. I don't mind because they're not um, continuously repopulating everywhere with zombies. That would be a, more of a problem. Now, let's go jiggle our junk around. Probably want to hold on to the keys. I See, I, I don't know if we need keycard A. Uh, I guess we can drop the lock pick should have seen actually if we could use the simple lock pick on those doors 
We'll drop the health. I know the second I drop that key card down, we're going to need to use it. That's how these games work. Alright. So. That's locked from the other side. Um, what was down here? Pretty sure we explored everything out here, didn't we? Memory serves. Yeah, because all that was here was him. And he's pressed up against that wall. Now, where was that simple lock? Can't go back there. Ah, we needed the square. Yeah. Huge barricade is blocking. So we need a square crank type doodad. And we are running out of bullets as well, which is a little concerning. Um, okay. Let's see if Lara is still dead. I mean, we've opened this one up now. So I guess we can take the shotgun shells. We can take the wires. Thing is, that's now filled us back up again, hasn't it? Yeah. So I guess we're going to go back to the item box. Yay! All right. Look. Oh, hello. It won't budge. Something's blocking the other side. Yeah. So again, this is going to be a game that... They've really got the item management wrong straight away. Um, which is a bit of a shame. And also, what's with the lack of saves? That's not good. Let's drop these back. Uh, I guess. Right, we'll drop those. No, we don't want to drop those. We shall have our handgun bullets back. Now we've dropped the handgun. Uh, I think we're going to need the lockpick, aren't we? Because I don't know where we're going to need it. Okay, I'm trying to get the handgun back. So let's go back down into the sewer. Maybe, maybe we can use the lock click down here. It's chained. So, oh, we have the fucking lock bit. That's all right. That's okay. I mean, I, you know, I guess we could have tried our keys there, to be fair, but... Yeah, so... Inventory management in this game is already... It's weakest point. I would say that needs to be looked at. See, I don't mind being able to find loads and loads of items. In fact, I quite like having lots of different items to find and play around with. What I don't like is when you can only hold two of these items, um, you know, and you need 36 to get into the next room. You know, obviously that's hyperbole. Because, uh, and again, with Signalis, which is the game that we've, we've just finished playing uh, not that long ago, that was the biggest barrier for that game as well. There were so many items. I wouldn't actually say it was as bad as it. Well, no, actually, it was pretty bad. Um, but that could be a huge criticism of this game. Right. It's chained. Nope, so we can't. 
So I'm guessing these chain doors all need a certain something. Okay. So back here. Ah, right, yeah. Back here was that subway maintenance tunnel. Which we can't do anything with. Although, they have given us like a, a poison cure. Which does make me wonder if we need to go somewhere with spiders. Right, so we can't go any further back there. So that kind of narrows it down a little bit. So, here we can go forwards. We can't go over there with a red barrel, but that's fine because there doesn't appear to be anything that we can do. We need to find something that we can open these chain doors with. Definitely. That seems to be a bit of a priority at the moment. Now. Now. Uh, okay. That door's locked from the other side. This is like our main base of operations up there. It doesn't go anywhere else. So I feel whatever we need to do got to be through this door down here and it's a massive pain that we can't save the game so that door we can't do anything with won't budge this door opens but we need to find a battery batteries missing without power it's useless there's a tool on the floor there that we can't do anything with because we've taken the wire from it. So, that leaves this area, really. We still can't pick that up because you, you kind of get the feeling that there might be a battery in here, but no. No such thing. Well, I guess we're lost. We're just going to be stuck here running around like a loony bin. Surely, it's locked. Surely one of these keys. Right, okay. Fine. God damn it. Oh, hello friend. You getting up? Yeah, you getting up. Oh, this music. I don't mind it. Right, let's take this guy out. He's done. I like it. You have anything for us, brother? Nope. Lots of food in good condition. Well, that's... Ooh. She's not in good condition. What else have we got going on here? A freezer to store cold drinks. I, th I can see something behind it. Maybe open it? Just, just a thought? Open the freezer? No? Okay. An empty lighter. I can't... Actually, we can probably take that. Right. Let's get rid of her. Oh, God. We've got him, too. I don't know if we're hitting these guys. This could be bad. Now, the good news is... I think there's bullets there. No. There's not bullets. That's bad. We're out of ammo. Okay. <sighs> Don't think we can take it. We actually can take it. Let's use it. We've got two bullets left. Nothing of interest. Now, we've got two bullets left. Uh, and we still haven't been able to save the game yet. Can't get out this way. Yep, all these boxes are blocking our our path. Front page of a newspaper. It reads something about the mayor. 
Without power, it will not open. Okay. So can we not? Can we not just like open the? Okay. So we've got we've now got a lighter, an empty lighter. We haven't seen anywhere where we can use lighter fuel yet. Now, I guess we can use the lighter to burn the cobwebs away. But we haven't found anywhere with fuel. Hmm. All right. Really nothing else in here, huh? Okay. So, um with hmm. Where would we Ah look, there's actually a herb there. Just realized that. Okay. So, if I put some fuel, where would I be? Right, let's go back and jiggle our junk around anyway, because we need to clear some item space, big time. Can't go and do anything in there. And then, what we're going to do, we're going to make a pause in the video. Whilst I find out where to go next. Hmm. Let's chuck. Let's drop that because obviously we can't use that on its own. The empty lighter is, I guess, the lockpick's useless. I mean, the key card, I ain't got a clue where we used that. Right, I'm going to put pause here, guys. And when we come back, um, I'm going to cut this up anyway. But when we come back, we will uh, hopefully know where we're going.